voice is still a little bit messed up from being sick for the past week and a half but today we are going to head down to my place mm. i'm going to take you through a kind of atypical work day mostly because i'm not starting my day as i typically would by like going for a run or working out because i'm still recovering from having covid very often i stay with my boyfriend and I'm, I'm a private person, but he's even more private, so I don't want to show my typical workday if I'm working from his place. So today I'm going to show you more or less what my workday looks like if I am working from my own home. It's around 7, 10, 7, 15 right now, so let's head over there.
now it's a little bit after 12 p.m. and I am gonna go for a light walk because this week I'm not really exercising like I normally do and so I think it's important for me to go out for short walks during the day just to move around a little bit and hopefully regain my lung capacity and so I'm gonna go for a short maybe 15 20 minute walk come back have a quick bite to eat for lunch and then get ready for my afternoon meetings. two o'clock I have a one-on-one -on -one with my tech lead and usually I don't do like that much focus preparation for it but what I do is I keep a google doc actually which is sort of like my workbook and whatever I'm doing commands I'm running errors that I'm running into like things that I'm debugging everything that I do I keep in this google doc and it's all organized by date so like every day I'll just go in and I'll start a new section with that day's date and everything that I do that day, I'll just sort of like bullet point it out as I go. And by doing that, I can also keep a running list of questions that I have or things that I might wanna discuss with my tech lead. And when the meeting comes around on Mondays, I don't really have to do a lot of like thinking about, oh, what have I done? that I need to talk to her about or like what questions do I have for her today like it's all already right there in the doc so when I do start that meeting with her it's really easy to just ask what I need to ask and discuss what I want to discuss and I feel like that makes the meetings like a little bit more efficient <laughs> I mentioned that I keep that doc where I basically just log everything that I've been working on, all of the steps that I take, results, problems that I run into. When I have my one-on-one, -on -one, I reference that doc a lot and as we talk about things, I try to keep notes of what we go over and suggestions that I'm given and after the one-on-one, -on -one, I go through the notes that I've taken and I add anything that I may have missed and I write down all of the next steps that I have to take. So it's like my to-do list and it gives me a lot of, I guess like peace of mind, knowing that I have all of this information that I can reference as I continue to work. I don't have to worry about like forgetting something or having to ask about the same problem twice. So I just have one more meeting today and then I will probably do a little bit more work and call it a day. One more thing, I know at Google I'm just starting out so I have one project, but I'm sure at some point I'll have a couple different things that I might be working on at one time. And in that case, what I would do is I would have a workbook for different projects because it's a lot easier for me to stay organized if I have different workbooks organized 
for different like trains of thought, if that makes sense. So keeping these workbooks is really how I stay organized and I've been doing it since my very first job. And it also is really helpful like if I run into a bug that I had seen maybe like months before, chances are I've written down in that workbook what I've done to resolve that bug. And so if I encounter something that I've already worked through, it's really quick for me to just go and do like a control F, search for some keywords, and I don't have to waste time solving the same problem again. Okay, so it is time for my last meeting of the day. And this is one where it's just kind of like a presentation, so I don't expect to have to talk in this meeting. and I'm going to wrap up here and head back. I submitted a job that I want to check on a little bit later, but other than that, I think I'm done for the day. And I'm gonna go get pizza with my boyfriend in a little bit. But yeah, that is not typically how I spend a day, but yeah, I thought I would just take you through whatever happened today and it turned out to be kind of uneventful, but. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more into my day-to-day. -day. I'm pretty private, so it's a little bit weird for me to film so much of like everything that I do, but if you liked this kind of video, let me know. I'm happy to film more. And if you have any more questions for me about like fully remote work or how I manage different aspects of working fully remotely, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear what questions people have, what people think. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.